So a colleague of mine invited for a dinner to their grandparents' home and their grandparents live in the countryside so it's my first time visiting Chinese uh, family in the countryside and I'm looking forward to it. So we are on our way to pluck grapes and this is candy and this is So what's happening is we can enter into the grapevine and then we can pluck um, the grapes and eat whatever amount, however much we want to then um, we buy some little little yeah yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that's a trick here we get inside eat as much as we can and then grab something and then go out to buy that thing so the grapes the bunches are all covered in um, papers I'm not really sure why it is covered but um, when customers come in they can remove the papers and pluck the grapes whichever um, um, whichever they want. So the grape wines are quite low, so we have to bend and walk. I mean, I'm short, but it's low. It's quite low. <laughs> so the, the owner is still inside. Yeah, the owner is still inside, and we're trying to finish this bunch <laughs> before she comes out. <laughs> so sweet, very sweet, very sweet, very tasty. Mm. This is called mikan. It's very similar to what we eat in Manipur called chagyan pomba or chado in Maring. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Uh, like dumpling. <laughs> no, in Chinese. Uh, this is what? Mi guo. Mi I just came back from Candy's uh, grandma's place. And she is such a darling. I really love her. She even invited me to come for the Chinese New Year. And she gave me local pumpkin and grapes. I just reached home and it was a wonderful day, wonderful day. Uh, I'm just sitting down and reflecting what happened yesterday, how I was treated yesterday. Um, I'm really glad I made the decision to go 
you know, even until up until the last minute, I thought I would cancel it, and because I was skeptical, and I was afraid. Actually, I would admit that. But the moment I reached there, they made me feel like one of their own. They did not alienate me. Um, I mean, sometimes life takes you by surprise. When you see so much of negativity around your life, when you think um, that there's so much prejudice and selfishness around the world, you get to feel something very um, nice, something that makes you feel very happy. Um, that makes me want to believe in humanity again, you know. It, it reminds me of my village life. And I'm sure that there are many people around the world where just they're being themselves um, innocent and kind and loving on people. Um, Candy's family treated me really, really well and I'm so happy I made the decision to join them and go there over the weekend. Um, it, was, it was really good, really happy I made the decision. So what I want to say is don't be afraid to go out. Be careful of what you do, of course, but um, you know, just sometimes just let it go, let it go and then experience it. It's, it's worth it, it's worth it. Um, and I'm not saying that you know, every time you take, every time you go out, everything is going to be nice, people are going to be nice. No, but um, experience is what matters. Experience matters a lot, so, so I would you know, encourage you to go out, have fun, and share your experience. Thank you.